my style universe. Not really big, but I got a lot of stuff crammed in here and I'm really excited to do yet another Target style challenge. And today's style story is all about four style icons. So I got inspired by four different style icons from different eras. Everyone from 1950s Betty Draper Mad Men, 1960s Bridget Bardot, Diane Keaton, menswear queen, and then gotta have a wild card, Miley Cyrus. What? I know, very different. It's gonna be a challenge. Let's see if I can do it. All right, so first look, the show Mad Men, I love. In particular, Betty Draper. I love the first couple seasons, which was sort of like in the late 50s still. I'm gonna do kind of the 50s silhouette, which is cinched at the waist, kind of a flare skirt. I love this skirt. But of course, again, we're updating the look, right? I'm not gonna go like on the nose, straight up 50s. This skirt has a fun pattern going on. Speaking of pattern, let's get me a shirt, and I think I'm gonna do here we go. So polka dots are very 1950s, but you can see paired with this skirt, it's all of a sudden a mixed print moment. You guys know I love, and it's also very updated, new era. And let's do a pattern shoe, shall we? I have the perfect thing, a pair of pumps, very 1950s, but it has a fun modern print going on, mixed prints galore. Let's get this on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, 1950s, here we go. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna do the hair. Now, in the 50s, a center part wasn't necessarily in style, so I'm gonna take a cue from that and do a little bit of a side part. Right about here. And then I'm gonna take my wide barrel curling iron, which is what I use to get these sort of big waves already. I'm just gonna give it like a soft wave. So curling away from my face. And then I'm gonna do this black headband, simple black headband to kind of just like bring in a little bit of that classic look. I might do a little smoothing serum. Let me do a little finishing spray actually to just set this look. I'm going to bump up my cat eyeliner next. It's actually a look that I do most days anyway, so I'm already taking cues from the 1950s. So I'm using this black marker tip liner. To finish off this 50s look, I'm gonna do a classic red lip because you can't really get any more classically 1950s. And so I'm going to use a red lip liner, red lipstick. I'm gonna finish off this look with a simple ring. I like this tuxedo ring because I wanna keep the jewelry minimal, delicate. Worn on my middle finger, which isn't necessarily what they would have done in the 1950s, but again, updated. So I'm ready to rock it. Betty Draper down. Now I'm going to move on to one of my personal favorite all time style icons, Diane Keaton. If you guys aren't familiar with her, she really put menswear on the map when she was in the movie Annie Hall. She has a bit of a 70s influence in her silhouette. It's a great look to do if you guys want to look pulled together and tailored, but not have to glam yourself up with a ton of makeup. I'm gonna start with, let's do a pair of these black velvet wide leg pants. Now what I love about this is the wide leg is kind of 70s. The velvet is nice, has that classy look to it, um, but they're really comfy because they're stretchy. A tailored white shirt. I mean, this has Diane Keaton written all over it. You will see her in so many pictures wearing a button up. And then I'm gonna do this camel blazer. Very classic color, a classic cut, black booty underneath. You're not really gonna see these because these pants are pretty long on me. And then I'm going to top off the look with a hat. Diane Keaton wears hats all the time. Get this pork pie hat. So pork pie, very classic look. And then to top off this crisp white shirt, I'm going to do a vintage bolo tie. Kind of menswear with the tie, but a nice little piece of jewelry. So I'm ready to get this on. Wah! Whoa, 
Diane Keaton, maybe, just a little. I mean, obviously I still have the 50s hair and makeup going on, so gotta remedy that. Okay, so first order of business is to remove this headband, and I'm also gonna take off this red lipstick. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of chapstick on. I mean, I don't know this for a fact, but I feel like Diane Keaton is a fan of chapstick. I'm gonna take my hair from parted on the side, back to part in the middle. Very 70s, which is usually a part in the middle, so I'm gonna take this bulk of hair and just kind of do like an effortless tuck. Oh, I just threw on this jacket. Maybe I'll bump up my eyebrows just a little bit. And then I will just feather this in with a little brush. Easy, effortless, menswear, tailored, ready to rock this. And now we're gonna go a little bit back in time to the 1960s Brigitte Bardot, one of my favorites. So I'm inspired by her kind of 60s mod look. She does the beehive hairdo like a pro. I'm going to start with, ta-da! This mod kind of inspired dress. Body conscious. Paired with this dress, I'm going to do some black tights. Very mod to have the tights. Some black boots. These are really simple. They got a little metallic heel, kind of like a go-go boot, slightly but shorter, so it's a bit of an updated look. Brigitte Bardot also wore a scarf in her hair all the time. It looks so cute. So I'm going to wear this vintage silk blue scarf, a little pop color. And then let's go for this here big clutch. I like how it has kind of a 60s mod inspired look, black and white like the dress. So I'm ready to do some 60s hair and makeup. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Woo, all right. I'm in my Brigitte outfit. Now I gotta do my hair and makeup. Brigitte, I mean she was French after all. Bridget Brigitte was a big fan of the scarf headband look. Another very signature thing of the 1960s was a lot of volume. The beehive, the teased hairdo. I'm not gonna go as extreme as they did in the 60s, so I'm gonna get some tease going in my hair. Teasing, which is basically just back combing at the crown of my head. Okay, so I'm gonna set each layer of the teasingness with a little bit of hairspray. So just a little set. I wanna kind of get a little more movement in these front pieces. She had always very tousled, amazing hair. Holding this scarf into a nice thick band. And then I'm going to tie it underneath some of the layers of hair. I wanna tuck some of this back and kind of give it a little bit more form. So I'm gonna take some little bobby pins and just kind of pin in place. I'm going to bump up my eye makeup a bit. I already have a little bit of tan kind of in the crease, so I'm just gonna sort of follow that line. And just make it darker with the black. And edge out the bottom lid just a little bit. I already have a little bit of a highlight going on in the inner corners of my eye. I'm just gonna define that a little bit more and extend it a little bit, which is very mod. Maybe just a fun ring, yes, to finish off the look, and I'm ready for a bon nuit. Je m'appelle Kate, or is it Brigitte Bardot? Maybe un petit. Thank <laughs> you.
So there you go, Brigitte, AKA Bridget Bardo. I love this look because I feel like you can wear this to work, you can wear it out on the town. It feels very versatile to me. My final fourth fashion icon is not necessarily run of the mill, Miley Cyrus. I'm not gonna be wearing pasties and mesh. I'm going to just take some style cues from her because I think she's fun and wild. First thing, let's get some acid wash denim leggings. I mean, Miley could pull these off. Let's see if I can top it off. I like this. This is very Miley because it has the mesh. Some floral, some fun colors. I could wear just a bra under this. That would be very Miley Cyrus, right? But I think I might put a tank top under it just to make it everyday okay. And then maybe some, yes, fun boots. A nice chunky heel. They got sort of a harness thing going on. I think Miley would probably approve of this outfit. It's at least Miley inspired, so now I gotta get some Miley hair. Yeah. Okay, I know I still have Bridget Bardot hair, so I'm not yet Miley. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna take out this scarf. Her signature hair is that short crop do. I want to take some inspiration, so I'm going to do sort of like a pompadour. I'm going to just kind of get all my hair directioned backwards. I'm going to take this top part, clip it away, and I'm going to take these sides and kind of really slick them back because I want that illusion that I have short sides. And I'm going to take this bulk of hair, twisted up. I'm going to leave this little kind of ponytail, just some pins to secure it. All right, so now I'm gonna take the bulk of my hair and basically use it as like a stuffing to give myself a nice forward sort of pompadour here. So probably just finish this off because Miley likes a bright lip color. I'm gonna do a bright pink lip. And maybe an ear cuff. Miley has a lot of ear piercings. And then how about a bracelet like this fun, chunky silver situation? <sighs> Rock and roll, let's do this! Guys, Miley Cyrus, crazy faux hawk. I mean, this was so much fun. I don't know what my favorite look was. What's your favorite look? Comment, let me know. This has been a very, very fun challenge to update these looks, get inspired by style icons. So I hope you guys had fun watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Love you. Bye. Mr. Kate.